Okay, I have a piping hot cup of tea right here. I have some things that I picked up from the thrift store and the dollar store. Thought it would be kind of fun to just kind of go through my little treasure chest of goodies before I start splattering the house with holiday decor. Okay, let's start off with the Dollar Tree, shall we? I found these shelves. There's this wall that's right here next to me that is very blank and I thought it would be kind of cool to decorate it as a Christmas gallery wall. This will possibly hold a candle, maybe we'll see how secure this actually is. I did get a holiday scented soap. This is cinnamon and clove. I thought that was an interesting combination. I like it. Along with that, I found a Christmas soap dispenser at the dollar store. They also had a gingerbread. They had a, what else? They had a truck that had a Christmas tree in the back. Yeah, those were super cute. I was tempted to get every single one of them, but you know. I also got some ornaments. I wonder if this is, mm. I got two signs. Yes, they're a little corny, but it's the dollar store. What's to expect? I thought these were pretty cute. I needed some signs to fill up the space, you know? This one says Merry Christmas with the cutest little red cottage and a family of deer on a snowy forest day. It just feels all the feels. I like that it's got the buffalo check print and then it's in green. Mm -mm. I also found this one that's also buffalo check border but it's white and black which matches my Christmas rugs. This one says home for the holidays with the sweetest little brick cottage standing next to a sweet little snowman. So here's what they look like. <laughs> They're the same size. I just thought these were really sweet and they would go perfect for the gallery holiday wall. <laughs> I got some garland this is what it looks like it's very thin my idea is to make little wreaths out of them and put them over the kitchen cabinets worst case scenario i can stuff these in the tiny tree or i can also put these in the front yard so there's so many things you can do you know it's, it's a possibility i ended up picking up these wood ornaments the wood is really cool so i could leave it as is and have that really crafty boho look for all of these. But then I also thought maybe I could paint them black or gold. I'm going to use some yarn and make it a garland. I'll probably hang that on the TV stand, maybe um, on the bookshelf and also on this wall next to me. You know, there's two of them. They're, they're, the possibilities are endless. <laughs> I found more bulbs. These are so cute. They're rose gold and they're super sparkly. I had this idea of taking all of my pink bulbs and putting it on one tree, having a pink tree, because why the heck not, you know? With that being said, I picked up a white Christmas tree, a mini one. I've never had a white Christmas tree and today is that day I will start a new tradition. So this is gonna be my pink tree. <laughs> Not only did I get a white Christmas tree, I got its counterpart, a little sibling for it. I got the green Christmas tree. For the white Christmas tree, I found this little feather boa. Honestly, I didn't think they would have it considering that Halloween is out the dough, sadly. But I did find, it just got stuck to my lip gloss. This would be really cute as garland on the white Christmas tree. Also, I thought it would fill the blank spaces in it much better. I'm putting the rose gold bulbs with the white tree naturally. That will be so cute and fun. I'm super excited about that. It's just so fun to decorate a mini tree, you know? All right, what do we have next? Oh girl, oh yes. I also got some yarn because I am going to make a Christmas tree garland. I picked up some of these cutie pie sparkly snowflakes. I got some of these so I can put this on the tree. I usually always have to pick up a pack of twinkle lights 
every single year. I had to get some Dollar Tree candles. They have little snowflakes on them. This green one is in the scent Berries and Evergreen. I like this one. It's very foresty, of course, but it's sweeter and not as pungent of a woodsy smell, which is a nice switch up. This pretty one is called Snow Capped Fur. Mm. This is definitely more of a linen-like scent. So these are both really cute, and I thought that not only would they look good as decor, but they would also smell good. I love candles. Okay, last item that I found at the Dollar Tree. I went to Hobby Lobby and I went to look at all of their pillows. They're so cute. And I was this freaking close to getting a gingerbread man pillow and even the Sherpa candy cane pillow, but it was so busy that day that I was just like already thinking to myself, I'm not waiting in this long ass line for a $20 pillow when I had this one all along. I found this one at the Dollar Tree for five bucks and it's a seasonal pillow. As long as Dollar Tree keeps producing these fluffy and fun pillows, I you got my buck. You got my buck. Let's just go into the thrift store finds. I got some more lights at the thrift store. These are brand spanking new. I thought these would be perfect to put on the front porch. So hoarding twinkle lights, I'm okay with it. You should be too. <laughs> no. This is so cute. I saw this at this little thrift store. It's a snowflake mirror. I love mirrors. I think they're really fun to decorate with. This one is just so cute. And what really sold me, honestly, because it's really cute, obviously, a little snowflake mirror. But what I can do is remove the back and I can clean the mirror. So I don't have to worry about going into all the trivets. I can just clean this mirror here and boom, put it back in there. So that's what really got me. I found these candle holders. I thought these were super cute. They came in a pack. I love that they are speckled and they're dark green and they're trees. It's just uh, so moody in my opinion. This is what the two candles from the dollar store look like in these little tree candle holders I found at the thrift store. They're so sweet. I love them. Mm. Yes. Christmassy holiday like along with the tree theme i found this interesting little wood decor item what i think this is is either a a napkin holder or b a mail holder where you file papers for me it's going to be probably a crystal holder perhaps i will just leave it on its own essentially i wanted to paint this because it's got a little bit of wear and tear to it but either i could paint it over with the dark green or i could paint it black or gold i just thought this would be such a cute minimalistic and awesome piece to add to the collection i found this soap dispenser and it was just so good quality i couldn't just leave it honestly i'm pretty sure this is from the brand target yeah this is definitely a target brand I'm not in love with how it's painted, but what I'm going to do is just take some nail polish and paint it the color scheme that I prefer. It's so cute, man. Like, I, I just, I couldn't pass it up, honestly. When I saw this, I thought, heck yeah, we'll bring it home, we'll DIY it, and this will go for the bathroom. This little tea light holder, this is so, so stinking awesome to me. Wow, going to certain thrift stores and finding vintage stuff is it's prime real estate that's why i love thrift shopping this one here is a ceramic christmas tree there's presents and bells and a teddy bear so part of me really does not want to paint over this because then essentially all the little treats in the tree will disappear but i do think that it would look better either in all cream or all gold so we'll figure that part out. Maybe what I'll do is paint it over and then I'll choose my own colors to paint over the little pre presents and the little teddy bear and such. I got this towel and I thought it would be cool for the bathroom maybe. It's dark green and it has this cool tinseled gold tree on it, but I thought it would be a perfect hand towel. On the topic of 
towels though. Um, I didn't get this from the thrift store, but I found this at Ross and there's two gingerbread towels. These towels are going into the cottage kitchen. Gingerbread house with the Christmas trees in the kitchen. This next item I found at the thrift store. Oh my goodness. Bruh. It's a cookie jar. However, I'm going to be using it to hold my tea bags uh, for the season. My favorite part is this sweet little peppermint on the top. It's just so satisfying. It's just the perfect little peppermint. It's a little peppermint roof. I just thought this was so cute. I gotta give you the, the full effect, the whole visual, you know? And it's not gross in there. I mean, I'm gonna clean it anyways, but you know, it's good quality. These two match okay. They're on theme, they're on theme. So they're going in the kitchen this season. Now that's perfect. This is the next thing I found at the thrift store. I found this entire box, no broken bulbs for $5.99. So the cool thing about these bulbs is that it is the same set that I have on my tree currently. It's the same bulbs I've been using for the past four or five years of Christmases. And when I saw this, I thought, oh my gosh, I can replace some of the bulbs that I have broken in the past five years of Christmas. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's got sage green, some pastel pinks and the designs are really cool these are super pretty i love putting these on the christmas tree like look how cool this one's frosty i love that it's this really cool almost metallic style i love this one it's one of my favorites it's so pretty I'm trying to get that glare off of it but it's an ornament so but look how pretty that is so shimmery and green. I love the earthy, but I also love the whimsical and elegant and the traditional Christmas. So that's why I have multiple trees because I love having a tree that is in season of my soul, AKA I'm loving the sage greens and the whites, the more aesthetically pleasing pieces. And then I have another tree that's specifically for my childhood and my grandmother's old pieces, you know, things like that. So it's just fun to decorate a tree. I think it is. So that is the haul of the day. Hello, I'm editing this video and I'm realizing I forgot to share a couple of candle holders that I thrifted for 70 cents. I thought these were super Christmassy and on top of that, they're very ornamental style. I adore them. I adore them. I think they're so neat. They've got this modern geometric style to them. I did in fact already impale myself, so they're not necessarily friendly, but uh, you could see the little dot. However, they're so, so neat, and I'm so excited that they are a part of the collection now. They kind of match my angels, the sterling silver kind of energy. I love it. I actually spent a lot of time outside because I've been winterizing the whole property, you know? It's time to pull in the garden hose and wrap it up nicely. It's time to put away all the tomato cages from the garden. Also, I put away the pond pump, so there are things that had to be done. Also, you know, cleaning the gutters, getting all the leaves out, being surrounded by trees that fall with leaves. It's kind of like yard work in itself. And it's kind of fun. I like it because it make, keeps me in the yard all season. That's the end of a collective haul. For the holidays, I get super excited about sewing scrunchies. And I've sewed many holiday styled scrunchies. They're all velvet. I have these really beautiful greens here. There's about three different greens, this gorgeous red velvet. I have this incredible <laughs> blue velvet and this sparkly black velvet. Today I'm wearing a green velvet. Wearing ribbons and bows and scrunchies made out of velvet makes me feel like a little bit of an empress and kind of like a Christmas present.
So I think they're really sweet and really fun. If you are in the market to have a scrunchie, something to treat yourself with, um, something fun to style and decorate with for the festive season. I have a boutique called littlemoonboat.com. I have the information down below. So just pop in the boutique website and see if you find one that you like. And I would love to wrap it up sweetly and add a little handmade card for you because they're just so fun. And it makes me feel like I'm giving Christmas presents out when I get a little scrunchy order to put together. So I just wanted to show this in my little haul. I might as well show you my haul of scrunchies that I've sewed in the past weeks. I think they're so fun and they're so sweet. And honestly, they make great gifts too. So if you are not a scrunchie wearer, but you know somebody who would really dig a super sweet scrunchie, uh, just reach out to my little boutique website. Shameless plug, okay? I am very proud of my scrunchies. Anyways. I hope that things have been well for you and things get better, allegedly. So uh, let's get excited about the holiday season together. <laughs> Until next time.